We wanted to show you what we got for Christmas uh, this year. Now, you have to keep in mind, Ashley did buy us Hamilton tickets. Yeah. So, Ashley, we got Ashley's tickets uh, way earlier in the year, her Christmas present. They were very, very expensive. That uh, trip to Hamilton was absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So this is what Andrew. This Christina, is what Andrew Christina gave to me, Kevin. And it was um, requested. And I requested this one. So I wanted. To, I haven't done a Lego set for for thirty years, and uh, and I really wanted to try one out. I've been doing the Metal Earth. I've been doing all these other things, and it's like I want, I really enjoyed Legos when I was younger. So I wanted to try out Legos. So um, me and Tammy looked around, and we liked the Harry Potter one. And this one is the. There it is. The Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. Um, it had the this cool little snake and stuff like that on it. So it just looked really cool. And if I enjoy doing this, I might get more. You never know. They take up a lot of room though. That's the only bad thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move and let Tammy get her stuff out, and then um, I'll be right back. So this was these were to me and Kevin from Andrew and Christina. These are little gnome ornaments, uh, but you could actually set them set them down if you wanted to snip off the top of their head. Uh, not the top of their head. I mean, string. the string. <laughs> um, you could like snip off the string and you could literally set them down if you wanted to, or you can use them as ornaments. Last year, can you show over in that corner? Last year, Anna and Christina gave me all those on the top of that table are Southern Living magazines. They're all old. I absolutely love them. So, Christina said, what would you like for Christmas? And that's why Kevin got the Lego set is because they asked him what would he want. I said I would love more magazines. The older, the better. Well, she got me some magazines. These are the, the magazines she got me. These are Taste of Home. And you can see these already have like all those little flags because those are recipes I've already picked out. Uh, so she got me a bunch of these Taste of Home, which I had never looked through Taste of Home before. I tell you what, um, I, I like uh, looking at the recipes, but in the back, let me see if I can find one for you real quick. In the back of each one of these, it's so cute because they have this part. Hey, who hid the fridge? And these people submitted pictures of their fridge of all these, you know, people put like magnets and stuff like that. Every single month, they put a picture of somebody's fridge. And then they also have this section, which I find hilarious just because it's funny how uh, taste change. And it's funny how kitchens change. So this isn't one of the bad ones. This one's actually not bad. But these are, they have this section every month where they show these country kitchens. This section, like I said, uh, this, I mean, this particular kitchen isn't bad because that's actually really nice. Some of these kitchens that they were showing off, it's like looking at them in 2022, it's like, oh my gosh, that is a really dated kitchen. Uh, but this magazine is from 1999. So, I mean, I'm getting them much later. So, for me, it's it adds some entertainment to see these old kitchens. So, she got me a bunch of these, Taste of Home. I'm just going to go through them here. And then this one is a Country country Living Recipes. And it uh, it has a couple pictures in it, but they're like black and white pictures. But it's mainly like that. She did find me a Southern Living magazine, but this was the only one. So, like, I love these. This one's from September of 1983. But uh, these old Southern Livings are just, I, I just love them. Okay, and then more Taste of Home. This is a Better Homes and Gardens holiday cooking and entertaining ideas. And then these, um, this is a holiday cookbook. This is really cool for me personally. These are from the Lexington Herald Leader. The Herald Leader is a Lexington, Kentucky newspaper. So these holiday cookbooks came out and they're just like little flimsy books. Newspaper print. Newspaper print. But they these recipes were submitted by local people. So and what's cool is they tell where they're from. So, like, this woman is in Monticello. This woman is in Versailles. 
Lexington, Lexington. There were some people from Winchester, where we are. You've got one from Paris, Kentucky, Irvine. Yeah, so these are special to me because these are like local people. And then you also get local ads in there. So this is from 1982. This one's from 1981. Uh, Lexington Herald, 1989. Uh, these are all the same. So this one's from 1988. Uh, 1982. Um, and then this one's 93. And then this is a good housekeeping cake lovers cookbook. And I don't even have any flags in this one. So some of them I, I didn't immediately find. St I mean, there's always stuff I want to make. But, like, I put flags on stuff that, like, I want to do soon. Okay, so since she couldn't find me a lot of magazines, she got me all of these books. So... I'm just going to go through these quickly because I know you all don't want, not everybody wants to see recipe books. This is um, uh, the Pilot Club Cookbook Meat Favorites. And so that is that one. Um, this one is, this one's really old. Uh, it says uh, the first edition was 1963, second edition is 1964. This was some, from some club officers, and it's in Lexington, Kentucky. Appetizer, party, and TV snacks. That's the section. But this recipe book, yeah, and then there were these pages stuck in it from, like, another book. I don't know what this recipe, look, pea rats. I don't know what exactly this, who did this recipe book. No, the um, cover's missing. Yeah, so this is the copyright. It tells, like, who printed the book, but I don't know where this came from. But, like I said before, this is a local cookbook, so that was cool to me. This one is called Norge Binding of Culinary Arts Institute Encyclopedic Cookbook. This looks like a Bible on the outside. An encyclopedia. Uh, yeah, and it is really thick. Dictionary. Did dictionaries have those, too, sometimes? Oh, they probably did. Uh, this is a Culinary Arts Institute in Chicago. Um, 1954 is what somebody wrote. 1950. So this is from 1950. And it just, it has everything in here. So um, it talks about salad, poultry, meats, sandwiches, soups, everything. Cheese dishes. Yes. I mean, there's just like, like anything you want to know. It is in this cookbook. Um, Looks good. The, your fine art of carving. Um, and uh, your table setting and oh, entertaining. Oh, they're showing turkey. So, yeah, I mean, this is um, a service for the formal dinner. And, and so anything you want to know about cooking, any kitchen In the, in the 50s. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, then we. this one is a Campbell's Cook, uh, Campbell cookbook, uh, cooking with soup, and these are recipes that use uh, Campbell soup. This one is 1982, and then we have, there are two Southern Living books, and this is what's so funny about this. She gave me this one from 1985, and she gave me this one from 1986. Out of all the Southern Living books that I own, I only had owned the 1985. So now I have two copies of this 1985 book. But it's funny, these were the two she was able to get, and I had one of those. But that's okay. So this is the 1986 Annual Recipes. What this is, is all their magazines that I showed you, uh, they put them together in into one book. So January through December, uh, you can see all of the recipes that were in those magazines. You can buy them in book form. Now, I will tell you, I would rather have the magazines. Mm, they don't have pictures in there for these. I would rather have the magazines than these books. I like the books, but the thing that I like about the magazines is um, not only the pictures, but I like the ads. I love seeing the advertisements. Okay, and then this. This is just absolutely huge. Mary Margaret McBride Encyclopedia of Cooking, 
Deluxe Illustrated Edition. Y'all are going to have to tell me if you've ever seen one of these books in your life. Look at how many books they put together in one. And uh, this... Yeah, they had to bond it they had, separately. Yes, this is very old. Um, I'll try to find the date for you. Uh, we found the date before. Uh, 1959 by Homemakers Research Institute. And um, once again... This goes through everything. Everything that you would want to know. Um, it tells you how to, to treat the food. Look, those are peanut butter cookies, but it's okay. Oh, um, They're showing the, you doing the fork on a peanut butter cookie. Oh, uh, the temperatures. Uh, look, here's a little part. Uh, I'll, how I'll, to fix a fish. Yeah, I will not use that part. <laughs> how to play a fish. Um, but, I mean, uh, what to do when your home freezer stops. How to freeze dairy products. So this isn't just about recipes. This has recipes, yes, but it also, look, jiffy cooking. I guess it's quick meals. You're right. Um, but I mean, this has stuff, uh, just things that, that you need to know um, in the kitchen. So that'll take me forever. So that's what you read before you go on the bake-off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you, it would be interesting to see what they read before they go on, like, the Great British Bake Off. This is telling you, like, the definitions of words, uh, what they are, like, what is mead. It's a drink, a fermented honey and water. Um, so this is like a, a dictionary of different useful words. Um, but there, I mean, this is just, it is absolutely huge. And then there's room for you to write stuff. Here's another Taste of Home magazine. This is a Pillsbury's Bake Off. A cake cookbook, uh, a good housekeeping, uh, cooking for the family, and that to me that looks underdone. I it just, look I'm very, just telling, it's not brown, that's for sure. I have noticed that the pictures in the magazines from like the the 60s, 70s, they don't look as cooked as good to me. Like pictures today look so much better. The art of cooking in Johnson County, Kentucky. Uh, Senior Citizens Booster Club. Yeah. So, I don't think I've ever been to Johnson County, Kentucky. but And these are some more Taste of Home magazines. Just some that I had in a different stack. Uh, this is the Southern Heritage Celebrations Cookbook. And there's just tons of recipes in that as well. But it does have uh, color, uh, colorful pictures in it. Well, it looks like half and half. And then, oh, these were the ones. Okay, this one was really cool. I tell you what was cool about this one. I this is the this one went through the months. So every single month, this is really cool. Okay, so there's a whole section on all the holidays. So if you were interested in, let's say, Halloween, what could I make in Halloween? You go to page 100, and they're gonna show you stuff for Halloween. So they're going to talk about it and what it is and what they did. And then they're going to talk about, they're going to give you a menu and each month does this. So this is really cool. So here's your menu. And then here is how to make each thing. Cause those bonfire burgers, I came close to marking those. Um, and then they have old pictures to go along with it. So I really like this book because it gives you a look uh, back at the past and um, it shows, back a page. You, shows you pictures and stuff like that. Steak on a stick. That's what I thought it said. Yeah, steak on a stick. But I love the, the, the pictures. Really cool. and Yes. Yes, very, very nice. That's That was interesting about that. And then this, I have two more to show you. This is the Courier Journal and Times Cookbook. Um, and this is just... Another cookbook. A tuna uh, fish dish. Tuna fish dish. Uh, or goo. Uh, yeah, and there's just all kinds of recipes in here. And then this last one is a Better Homes and Gardens uh, meat cookbook. And uh, this one is from 1969. 
and it's literally see what i mean about the pictures yeah i thought that was bread at first yeah it's that supposed does, to be meatloaf <laughs> that does not yeah this does not look appetizing to me so you can't look at the pictures you just have to make it and do it yourself well printing back then wasn't what it is now either right so don't go by what the picture looks like because it's not going to look like when you make it today because i like to get my meat a little browner than this um and it still is good and juicy and everything but yeah, it looks more appetizing now than it did then. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, what Anna and Christina gave me. The last thing we got for Christmas was completely unexpected. We haven't opened this. Uh, usually my dad and I don't, uh, we haven't exchanged Christmas gifts in a while. But he um, moved to South Carolina. He moved to Travel Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. And this came through Amazon, and he said, we just wanted you to know that we were thinking about you at Christmas. So we have not opened this yet. And this is from my dad and Laura. His, his wife's name is Laura. And it says Bonnie and Pop. Okay. Oh. That wood? Yeah, that's a wood box. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So it has a little, a little clasp. Uh-huh. Bonnie and Pop New York. I've never heard of this company. No, oh, like, you know, it's, it's a nuts. It's a nut. Uh, yeah, we are a mother and daughter owned business. Our roots go back to Bonnie and Pop, two exceptional grandparents who devoted their lives to making people happy. We hope our gifts do the same. So it's Bonnie and Pop dot com. And this is a six selection deluxe nut crate. So you have cashews, oh. almonds, okay. almonds, um, cashews, chili, lemon, pistachios, cranberry health mix, probably those, cinnamon hazelnuts, those, a sweet and savory mix. Yeah, those. Um, so yeah, that's really really nice. So Kevin, all these hazelnuts. Yeah. And look, these come out. So, like, you can take these out and yeah. just have the big open box if you yeah, want Yeah, like a little crate. Kevin and I, normally, I don't, uh, wouldn't re well, I don't get usually food for Christmas. We will probably review yeah, this. those are pistachios in the shell. Yeah, we'll probably review this just so if yeah. you are interested in this, you'll know if you want to order from them. Uh, we'll be able to tell you if they're any good or not. Yeah. Uh, so, that's from uh, my dad and Laura. So you saw Kevin's Chamber of Secrets in the box, the Lego set, and so this is the um, this is what it looks from like from the front, and then I'm going to show you the inside too. Does it do anything special in the front? It does. Let me tell you the characters. Oh, right. okay. So you got um, you got Dumbledore, mm -hmm. and that is um, Gildroy Lockhart, the, mm -hmm. the snobby one. This one is Professor... This one I didn't know. I had to look it up. Professor Sinistra? Sinistra? Hmm. I don't, there's a I, couple of the movies, but but I don't know. I just don't remember. And that's Harry Potter with his sword. And that's the sword Andrew wanted, by the way, because it's only in this set. It's exclusive to this yeah. set. Okay. Um, then you've got Luna Lovegood. Uh-huh. And you've got Jenny Weasley. Uh-huh. And that is... Um, I don't know who this one was. It's Justin... Finch Fletchley. Oh, okay. Is that the one he fought? I don't know. I think he fought the, that guy during the duel. The, the one I recognize the, the name. Uh, this is Colin, the one that takes the pictures of everybody. Right. And then you've got Tom Riddle. Uh-huh. And then you've got the special gold Voldemort. Okay. And, and then, then you've got Nearly Headless Nick. I just took him, stuck him up there on the And Hedwig. Top. And Hedwig. And yeah. then the snake, the yeah, basculus. Yeah. And, they, they and also his give mouth you, opens and closes. Yeah. So if you want to close the mouth, you can like that. And also, um, all these little parts, there's like a book. Like a book there, uh, all these little wizard cards, you get those. Yeah, um, I put them in a bag right Yeah, just because for... they're all uh, kind of loose parts. So we can slide these forward. So this door opens. Mm-hmm. So you can open the door open and enter the, the chamber. The chamber. Um, this, if you open these, this slides out. Oh, cool. And the little tooth is right there. Yeah. This comes off. And there's a slide, so the character will slide, you know, can slide down in there. Okay. We'll see that from the other side. Yeah. And then you got this, which moves up and down like they're, fly they're flying. They're supposed to be flying. 
That's cute. That's pretty much it. I don't know why these tilt down. I guess it, they don't really they don't necessarily tilt. They're just held at an angle, but whatever. And then, and it now looks all this, like this opens. It doesn't. It doesn't? No. It looks like it would. Um, this it's like all, it's hinged. This is a separate piece. That's a separate piece. So you can take those and pull them apart if you wanted to as well. So yeah. Kevin assembled this, just so you know, on Twitch. Yeah, I did it all and online it, And it's going to be on his Movie HQ yeah, YouTube, YouTube channel. channel too, you know? uh, so if you want to watch him build this model, you can. Um, and thank you for the people who tuned in and watched him yeah. uh, and talked. And a few and people. I was in and out of there too, so... Okay, so what do we have So we here? got the little dungeon down here. You can see the bones and all that stuff. And there's these little chocolate frogs. Like there's a little white one. I don't know. You can't see it from there. There's a pink one right there. Maybe you can see it better. There's the pink frog right there. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the candles. I love the candles, the pictures, the little skulls and all that stuff. Um, this one's like the, the, uh, the great hall, basically. Mm -hmm. And if you raise this up, the sorting hat's behind there. And you can take it out. It comes off. And it looks like that's a cake right there next to it. Um, I think it's um, it's like a like a ball, like the I'm trying to think of what it's called. The um, remember all? No, like the like a fortune ball. The um, oh, can you think of the name? Crystal it's, ball. Crystal ball. There you go. I think it it looks like a crystal ball because I think it glows in the dark. There's more chocolate frogs. And more chocolate frogs. There's a bun and there's some I guess cereal or whatever. Um, this is supposed to be like where they duel, although they got you to stick goblets on there, but this is where they duel, like they do the wizard's duel, so that you put a character on there and you can like flick attack them it off. and flick them off. Um, then you got the potion. I thought the potions were cool mm -hmm. at the top. I like that too. And then you've got the telescope. There's another chocolate frog hidden up there. Oh yeah, all, they're all over the place. Um, matter of fact, underneath the sorting hat. There was a chocolate frog? There's not a chocolate frog, there's a, um, a cupcake. Oh, under the sorting hat. Oh. You yeah, get your fingers in there. There you go. Ah, <laughs> like looks, a little cupcake. It looks it, like a little poop spot. It looks like poo. <laughs> it does. And I wonder, I thought that when I was putting it together. Then you got the telescope. And this little book moves. Um, Andrew was like, why would you have a telescope going through a wall if it's if it may unless it's magical? And I said, that must be magical because it's going through that wall. Yeah, That's how really. it's supposed to be. So yeah. And there was another owl somewhere. Is that Gilderoy? Uh, his wig. Yeah. His, uh, his um, well, office. room, his yeah. office. Yeah. Oh, and there's a broom. Yeah, there's a broom, another chocolate frog. I thought there was another owl somewhere. Maybe I'm just thinking, oh, there it is, right there. That'll be the, is that a Nimbus 2000? Or whatever it's <laughs> called, the, whatever number it is. Does this open? No, that's from the other side, his mouth. If you open, if you slide that whole thing out. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So that's where that's coming from is there. Yeah, okay. Right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little set. So did you enjoy putting it together? I did enjoy putting it together and Tammy's going to love it because now I want to put more together. 